Howdy, it's Tubal Cain again, and welcome to episode number 27A, the question to my What Is It series. And I used to call it Mystery Tool, but I'm just going to have to say Mystery Item now, because not everything is a, a tool that I show you. Well, we got a mystery box today, and about two months ago, a man from Russia contacted me, and his name is Vic Shevaleski. And he said he's going to send me something. Well, it, it took so long to get here. I think it went uh, by slow boat from China. But here it is from Russia. There's the Declaration of, uh, Ind no, not independence, uh, of, uh, oh, what do you call it, uh, when, when something has to go overseas. So I'm going to open this now. He kind of gave me a little clue of what it was, but I'm not sure that he knew. And, and by the way, Vic, thank you so much for this. And, uh, well, let's get right at it here and open it up and see what we got. And that's what it says in Russia. I don't know if that says postage or, or what. But at least they're not an arm and a, uh, a hammer and a sickle there. Custom form, that's what that's called. Wrapped newspaper. We'll see if it's a Russian newspaper. Wonder what they got to say about Putin. Well, I can't read a word of it, but I tell you one thing, there's no advertising. I've never seen a Russian newspaper before, but I'm going to take that upstairs and uh, read that and show it to my grandkids. All right, so inside here, and it's just rattled around, it's not packed in foam, it's just smashed newspaper, we have a wooden satchel. So let me clear the deck here and uh, we'll open this up. Here's the mystery box. Now Vic said that he bought this at a flea market, so they've got flea markets in Russia. Well, why wouldn't they, I guess? It's just that we really know very little about this country. So here's a nice wooden box with finger joints and a latch on either end and then another latch here. Another piece of newspaper. All kinds of accessories and remember I'm not gonna I don't know what this is. You're to guess. And we'll, we'll hopefully we'll find out. Be sure and read all the comments. And you can go back to the video and keep looking at comments as, uh, as there are more of them to look at. So be sure and do that. Quite an intricate item. Nickel plated or chrome. I think this is pretty old. Kind of beat up here. Got some wrench marks. Oh, even some vice marks. So... You know what? We now know there are hammer and chisel mechanics in Russia as well. There's a serial number. It's an interesting item. Also in the box, uh, apparently these are accessories. There's several different springs. That's some kind of a wrench. There's a little ruler or something in there. And I don't know what that rod is. There's an empty vial. Perhaps that was oil in there at one time. Test tube. Whatever that is, is missing the end. And here's a little pad of paper. And it's got notes on it. Now, the answer here to what this is may be on this cover. But you know what? The problem is, I believe that is written in German. Metal Worker KG. That's German. And I can't read a word of it. It's some kind of indicator. Okay, gather information on that if you can. Um, do a search, but there probably will be somebody that knows what this is because apparently we got some pretty ingenious people watching my videos. 
Please don't swear in the in the comments. There's been way too much of that. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to uh, put the comments in the section where they get uh, reviewed by me first, so I can eliminate those bad ones. I have not a clue on what this is, other than some kind of indicator. So do the research. Come back often to see what this little mystery item is. And this is quite heavy. I don't know what the postage would have cost from uh, Russia. Would it be in rubles or rupees or something like that? I'm not sure what their currency is over there. But, but uh, thank you, Vic. And Vic's probably watching this. So, Vic, be sure and come back and, and watch for the answers to see if we got any smart Americans. Although there are people from all around the world that are um, looking at these videos. All right, on to the next item. Here's item two, and I've had this for years. It's a brass hammer. It's a Lixi, I guess that's a B rather than an 8. What is the purpose of this hammer? I really have no idea. Other than I'm going to put it, put it out on my machinery and start using it as a brass hammer. And I don't believe it's one of these uh, uh, spark-free hammers. I mean, it's not, not meant to be spark-free, whatever that dangerous copper is that they use. This looks like a yellow brass. So what is that? Time out for a little quiz. Here are three men of science and this page came out of a 1947 popular science magazine. I'm finally catching up on my reading. There's nine on here but I'm just going to cover three and you can pause your video to read this and uh, look at those faces that uh, number one is, a, is too way too easy. And at the end of this video, I'll come back and uh, tell you the answers. Here's a Pratt & Whitney gauge made out of relatively thin metal, not quite an eighth of an inch. And there's some numbers on there. I can't show you the back side because that would uh, really give the answer away. But what is this gauge used for? And as obscure as that may seem, I bet there'll be guys out there that know what this is. I would not have known without reading the back. And thank you to the man, I forgot what his name, that, that sent this to me. Here's item four, a tool. This is an easy one, and I expect many, many of you to get this. There's no name on this, no numbers, no nothing. Nicely made. And when you pinch it here, it opens. I don't believe this has ever been used, so it's got some packing grease on it. And then you can uh, turn this screw in and out. There's a little pin down here. And the uh, handle can be moved into different holes, I suppose, so you have leverage against the other hand holding these uh, uh, handles and there's a spring here. I take it back there is a number here of some kind. So what is that item? Kind of an interesting mechanism. I hope you enjoy this series. And This is the uh, 27th in the series and be sure and come back for the answer in a few weeks. Here's the last item, item 5, and I've got the blue tape on there to, to mask the trademark, which would give it away. And these are just thread protectors to keep, and to keep dirt out of it. There was one over the end here, and it just went rolling across the floor. I can't find it. Approximately uh, one-third of you will get this. There's an O-ring here, a couple holes there, I suppose, to mount it. My only clue is that this is very high quality and would be very expensive to replace. And I just picked this up while well, it was in a box at a flea market or something 
with some other stuff I bought. And I've had it for years. What is that item? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Now stay tuned for the answers to the mystery quiz. And here's the answers to the pop quiz. Number one, of course, is very easy. Just from his facial uh, features, that's one Mr. Albert Einstein in his younger years. Number two, cotton gin, of course, is Eli Whitney, also famous for interchangeable parts and the milling machine. And three, I must confess to not knowing him myself, and that is Harlow Shapley. Harlow Shapley. Did you get them all? I hope you were intrigued by some of these items and be sure and come back in a while for number 27B which will be the answer to these uh, uh, what are these items. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now and be sure and tune in and watch my 701 other videos.